like a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? Yeah, it's not even on, so I'm just No, it's not. We're recording. It's just not in the play. Please use it. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Good. Hello, everyone. Hi. I'm Hello. Uh, and uh, this is my club. <laughs> Harry is my only other member. Hello. Uh, so, um, sorry, uh, so I have a question, Mal. Hello. Hello. Um, so I'm one of those wacko moms who have flown my children to London to see you. And Thank I'm just you. wondering, do you realize the responsibility that you have, that moms have given you, and the influence you have over our daughters? And how do you handle that? I love it. <laughs> love a challenge. There you go. I think, um, I think we try as hard as we can just to be ourselves, because I think it's important, especially in terms of like the message, I think it's like just the way the world is at the moment. There's so many things telling people to not to be other things in themselves. I think you know we try and just kind of be who we are while not being stupid. So you know, I think in terms of like we do social media, when you're, <laughs> yeah, when you're like tweeting stuff, and you know, I, I don't think you you don't rewrite a tweet ten times because you're worried, but you you just don't. Common sense. Especially if an audience is young, then we have a very first time. Well, thank you for doing a good job. Thanks for coming to Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have a lot of younger fans. Is he writing the article? Um, he might be. I might, yeah, he might be. All right, so you have a lot of younger fans, but you also have moms like me who love you guys. Do you thank have you. any like crazy mom fan stories that are, you know, just as <laughs> is the, is the girls? Um, one time, about a year ago, um, some woman came and gave me her number. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes they're, sometimes they're worse. Yeah, yeah, I thought I recognized you. Uh, yeah, sometimes they're, sometimes they're worse. Sometimes you'll, sit, you'll be at a concert and you'll look down and the mum will go. And your daughter will go. <laughs> oh, mom. <laughs> Next up for music wise, do you guys want to eventually do like an acoustic kind of um, album to challenge yourselves? Uh, that would, gonna, be, would be quite fun actually, I guess. Yeah, but, I, would, um, I, I'd love to hear though. I've been seeing you guys at the movies, and I was I was actually moved by you going back to my way way Duran Duran days. You know, how you found those that. Yeah, well, I know <laughs> so that myself. Um, that's my problem. Yeah, I think so. I think it's always fun to try different things, and obviously we haven't done one yet, so. Would be good though. Yeah, I think it, it's fun to sit around and just play Jam. songs. So. That's what we do actually. You know, when you think about it, we do it in our free time. We just get to sit around and I play the guitar and we all jam. So it would be a good idea to make a good album like that. But this album that we're making at the moment is a little bit edgier. It's a Christian <coughs> rap album. Yeah, I'm going rap. I'm doing rap. <laughs> and um, but until then, we're doing a bit more heavier rock and roll. <laughs> and then we take the rap edge and then. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot. This time it's a lot heavier guitar and drums and like proper old school rock and roll. Because <laughs> we all, we all, that's the kind of music we all listen to. Mm -hmm. Motion back. Um, yes. Clearly, you guys have a lot of fun together. We saw that in the movie. Oh, um, yeah. It's great to see how regular <laughs> you really are. Um, what kind of things do you look forward to in the downtime together? What kind of things? Your favorite things to do? I sleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the best part about kind of having time off is just that you don't have to set an alarm for the morning. I think, mm. you know, when, like whenever I go home to my parents' house, I literally just fall asleep on the, on the sofa for, for three hours. And uh, I think it's just nice to go home and kind of just do the really normal things that you didn't appreciate as much kind of before, like just sitting and having a meal with your family is so nice. So. Mm. Behave for your parents. Yes, and do well all in school. Of home. <laughs> <laughs> I teach you everything I know. <laughs> I, I like to just. No, you, you. I like to just do uh, <laughs> as many normal things as I can, because I think that's the way that we keep each other humble and stuff. I like to go to gigs, love different concerts and stuff, um, just hanging out with friends and jamming on the guitar. I recently I've started teaching myself how to play the drums. So I have a drum kit now in my house and I wake up the neighbours and stuff like that. And they're not very happy. They're really good at it. Any questions in the corner? Um, what was the best part about actually getting to film your own movie? It was all quite good, isn't it? Yeah, I think when it was finished. 
<laughs> it was just kind of, it wasn't like a massive stress or anything. It wasn't like a thing that you thought about every day because the whole point of the film was to just have a normal day while the cameras were there rather than do a lot of stuff for the camera. So um, it was kind of like when it was done, it was just exciting to kind of see the next step. So yeah. that was kind of It's kind of like making an album when the album's finished. Like we're, we're just finished our album now. And, it's not coming out for another few months, and you just kind of you want people to hear it, but you're, at the same time you're nervous. So that's that's what was kind of like with the movie. We finished shooting it in Mexico, I think it was. It's me, Papa. Papa, yeah. Now no, we just can't wait for people to see it. Obviously, you guys have seen it, but a lot of people haven't. So who has? Okay. Have you all seen it? Yeah, yeah. last night. Awesome. Really? Yeah, it's really good. Did anybody steal the three D glasses? Does anyone have popcorn? Because I love popcorn. Yeah. Yeah, Do you like popcorn? Do you like popcorn? He loves popcorn. Sweet. He doesn't care. How much creative input did you have into the final cut movie? A lot, because we became. Our, the producer of the movie, Ben Winston, is like one of our very, very close friends, and we've worked with him on a lot of things. He did, um, he just did the best song ever video. He did our one way or another video with us, the one in for Africa. Um, he did our a documentary that we did in the UK, and we're really good friends with him. And then obviously when Morgan came in, we all collaborated together. And we were watching, like we've seen like 10, 10 cuts of the movie, you know, coming up to now. So it was good to see everything come together and just kind of like, we didn't really want to have too much creative input. Because if we, the only way to make the best behind the scenes documentary is to give them access to all areas, and if you're worried about what people are shooting, then it's, it's not going to be a good movie, I guess. So just be as normal as possible and just hope they're good in the edit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The last question. Um, um, I thought it was really cool where Tom and Kyle said that right from the get-go, he wasn't going to tell you guys what to do. Mm -hmm. But now that you guys are just huge and blown up the way you have, are there more people trying to tell you what to do? or? You're still completely free of doing your own thing. I think, I think the nice thing now is that um, even though like three years isn't a long amount of time, we, we kind of feel like we, we now kind of know what, what a band we are. So, you know, even though it's kind of, there's just less things going into it in terms of like, well, how do we want to do this? How do we want to do that? It's kind of like who we are now and it's just kind of. So, so stuff like that is kind of easier, but um, we have—I mean, we have an incredible team around us that will help us make a lot of decisions, and um, seems to be a good team so far. So. And if we're wrong, we get to work. That's a good thing. You can't leave lads our age just let loose. <laughs> we can have to be bring back in a little bit sometimes. Well, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.